swords dance in my face, huh? You think you think that you can just do these things, Bright Powder Garchomp? You cannot. You cannot. You're done, bro. You're done. One shot city. Yo, the degenerate tech of Ice Beam, Ice Terra Furret, and the Crunch Block. Oh, dude. What a perfect turn, yo. What is up, YouTube? That's here today. I'm back when we're Pokemon VDC 2023 regulation battles, and today we're busting out another family themed team. We used Corefish and Crawdon recently. Today we're gonna be busting out Furret and Sentret. Super cool mons. They both get the Frisk ability. And what's cool about both of these guys is that they both get Follow Me, a really, really good move. It redirects, it's better than Rage Powder. And they also both get Sucker Punch. They're, they can enable our weakness policy, Gold Dango. There's a super cool meme team. We also have support from like Specs, Flutter, been a while since he's one of those, a Choice Scarf Chiyu, and last but not least, a standard Prankster Tailwind Tornadus. This is actually a really, really cool team. Hopefully we get some wins with it. We also have like Ice Beam on our Ice Terra Furret, so we can like dumpster things like Landorus's and Dragonite's and all those pesky mons that would normally give our Gold Dango a lot of trouble. I think this team's actually gonna do pretty well to Today. But before we get into the games, I want to say I'm going to be traveling to Iceland uh, in about a week going to, you know, I'm going to be there for about two weeks. We're doing it for my wedding and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to be gone for basically two weeks. So I want to know what sort of content do you guys want to see on the channel. I have just a little bit of time to prep some content. So if there's something specific you wanted to see while I was gone, whether it be battles, team building guides, tier lists, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. And uh, without further ado, let's get right on into this battle and hopefully get some big wins with Frisk for it. Frisk, Sentry, and Weakness Policy Goldango. Wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm actually pretty excited to try this one because I think Furret can be really, really good against Landorus. And uh, Furret's good against Dragonite too, so Furret seems really, really nice. And then, like, against things like Shen Pao and Flutter, like, Goldango is good if you get up the right set of speed control. We also need to, like, respect Heatran, so we probably should bring... Chi Yu in the back somewhere. So I'm thinking like a mixture of like Furret, Goldango, Chi Yu at least. I kind of want to bring my Tornadus as well, but I also kind of want to bring my Flutter. So what if we were to open up with like Furret and Flutter? Ooh, I like that. With Chi Yu and Goldango? I'm trying to think of like a board state where they wouldn't lead, where they would lead with something that Goldango would want to get like Sucker Punch Policy Procting just win the game. And I don't think that's really a case. So let's just go with this. Because if I were to lead like Furret Goldango and go for like a Sucker Punch policy proc in my Goldango, we would just get outspit by the Landorus and KO'd. Uh, we would get messed up by like Dragonite Shimpow. That's a really, really solid team on their side. So I think we're just going to play it safe and have like a potential redirect board for our Flutter. That's what I really like about this team. Like Sentron and Furret both get follow me. I don't need to like policy proc or do any other weird stuff. I can just go for like redirection. Specs Mon deal the damage. They have things like Dragonite, they have things like Shen Pao, Landorus, Rillaboom. Those all take big damage from Dazzling Gleam. Those all take big damage from Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> Look at this Furret, bro. Okay, let me actually think. I wonder if they even know. So we see Life Orb Shen Pao, Choice Band Dragonite. Okay. Life Orb Shen Pao. So that means it just dies to the E speed, right? Or sorry, dies to the D Gleam. That's sick. So, like, yeah, follow me. If I was Ghost Terror, that'd be the best thing ever. They're probably going to hit the Furret, but we're sashed, right? So we get to redirect both these, and then the Dragonite's going to come out. Let me just think of this. This is this should be fine. Yeah, Follow Me is good here. And uh, I think you can... You don't need to Fairy Terra, because you want to always stay Ghost. No Terra on that Dragonite. Okay, you're probably in her focus. Oh, dude, they just Rage Quit, dude. I'm... I'm I normally wouldn't include a game like this, but we made a hard read and we won that game because of Friss. They tried to best of one close team sheet us. And watch, watch what happens, dude. Is it gonna show it? Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, Furret made them rage quit turn one, bro. Furret made them rage quit turn one. They saw that follow me and they're like, nah, Chief, that ain't me. Oh my gosh. And actually, Furret has a higher base speed than Dragonite, so next turn I could just sucker punch kill that Dragonite. That is amazing. I'm keeping this game. I'm keeping this game in. Oh, that last game was so good. Like, yeah, we didn't get to do the combo, right? But we got to do something that was so funny, and we just played the game correctly. Like, sometimes, you know, I am capable of playing the game correctly. Let's see. This is a Trick Room team. All right. <laughs> We're talking about playing the game correctly. Let's not play the game correctly. I'm gonna lead with Chi. I could, you could probably just lead like uh, Flutter Dango and win the game. I don't think that's an L. I'm gonna lead Chi Yu and I'm gonna lead Dango, right? And I'm gonna click 
lava plume into my own dango. Uh, there is a 63.8% chance that I don't Oko myself. <laughs> uh, what am I even doing with my life out here? These are all really good. And then I think Furret's better than Centret just because their team is... Well, it's a lot of mons that, like, Furret would be able to redirect twice, guaranteed. Sentra has a lot of points in Spadef, and yes, they do have a Blood Moon or Soina, but there is things like Hands and Shenpao, which would just one-shot the Sentra. So, I think it's better to bring the guaranteed Sash uh, Furret and block this up. I like Furret. Furret's always one of my favorite mons, and, uh, let's see. No, uh, Hands. Ooh, Hands. Never lucky. Ah, let's think about what we do here. This is a, this is a weird board state. This is a bit of a weird board state. Like, who are you going after? Hmm. Is that booster? Whoa. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> I could click the button. <laughs> dude, I could I could click the button, man. You'd be so done if I click the button. I think they're drain punching, and like what is it's a shimpa would die to lava plume. Dude, I'm gonna click the button, dude. I'm weak. I'm weak and lame. I'm lame. Dude, we can always do it next turn. You can totally fake out the Chi. I don't really care. Nice. Cool. So next turn, we click the button. Are you sacred sorting me? You, that's a lot of damage, bro. Throat trap. Okay, cool. I'm so glad I didn't click that button because I would have died. Um, this turn, though, because Chi didn't get locked in anything. So this turn, I can just do heat wave, right? Heat wave is enough. And then... Heat wave. I wonder what type of Shempao that is. And they're throat chopping, which is like, I mean, heat wave is the right play, but ooh, wait, what if they go for, ooh, this is actually really cool. I think they're gonna protect their Shempao and, dra and Drain Punch. So I'm gonna Lava Plume and I'm gonna Shadow Ball. We're just gonna delete the hands. Uh-oh. Oh, oh did I, am I tearing? I don't want to. Okay, they're tearing. All right, well, I lava plumed, so you could get burned. We'll see. Dude, lava plume, big damage. Sucker punch. Ooh, okay. They're going to proc my policy. Are they going for my Chiyu? They're just going to KO me, bro. Good thing I clicked lava plume. <laughs> this is still fine, I think. They're going to probably KO the Chiyu this turn, but then we have a really, really good board. Any burns here would be really, really nice. Pretty much never lucky, dude. No burns. Cool, so the good thing about this board is we're going to bring out Flutter, and then we're just going to be able to click, like, Redirect with the Furret and and uh, Dazzling Gleam. Just like last <laughs> just like last game, dude. This team is so crazy, though. Alright, Furret. I want to see what items on the Shenpao. I want to see if it's their Sash. I'm getting, like, Black Glasses vibes. I had Throat Chop and Sucker Punch. So that's, we're going to see the Frisk here. Frisk's up. Survey says. Focus Sash Shenpao. Okay, cool. It's probably Adamant, though. Because it did a lot. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to have in the back. Like, realistically, we don't have that many good things. But, like, I think that we can just get a break here. I think both these guys should be able to pop the rest of their mons. Like, we should be able to break the hand. So this is a Specs Fairy Terra Dazzling Gleam. Water in the back. Pretty good mon. Pretty good mon. If we can KO that hands, that'd be great. They restored a lot of health. So... Show me that Sucker Punch block, boys. Show me that Wind Speed Tino Throat Chop. Yeah, Sucker Punch block. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, being able to preserve the Furret's Focus Ash is really, really good. Super good. People just forget that they can follow me, bro. Yo, non-vested hands because it was booster energy. So we're in this. Like, we've revealed Terra, but our opponent can't Terra, right? They probably have, like, Cress and, like, Ursa Luna. But, like, I'm looking at this. I'm going to be able to go, like, Dazzling Gleam, whatever right into they're gonna go like protect trick room i'm gonna do like half to them i'm gonna go redirect ko them then ko their other mom like i think i'm okay i think i'm like low key oh it's ogre pond rock ogre pond right that is a spicy meatball of stuff i'm just gonna hit it bro <laughs> Ice Beam, dude! It's actually uh, super effective here. Let's go. That's cool. No, like, dude, I'm, I got sturdy, and I'm like, sturdies! No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. Let's go. 
we're fast enough, right? Let's go, dude. They're made on Trick Room. Like, we don't have to respect it. Ice Beam for it, dude. And then even if you KO my water with something, I have Ice Beam, dude. <laughs> Hyper Voice, good play, good play. But then, like, next turn, and yeah, we're good. We're good. We got it, dude. Ice Beam for it. New meta. Oh my gosh, dude. We're out here stealing these wins. Single target specs D Gleam. Don't leave home without it. Oh my gosh, dude. We take those wins. They try to cheese us. They're like, yeah, this is a Trick Room team. You know, Trick Room, that thing that I have. And I'm like, they didn't try and set it against me. So Furret gets another W. That person has a Toxicroak. Hmm. Okay, let me think about what I want to do here. I think this is finally a game that we can go with like Furret, Centret, Shenanigans. They got a couple slow guys. So let's see. Centret is probably better, but they, we can Ice Beam the Garchomp. It means it is better. Let me think about this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Furret Dango. Because we can also just go Super Fang and like the Crest Shadow Ball get the KO. And then. I'm gonna bring my Flutter Main. And I'm gonna bring my Torn. No, I don't know if I want the Torn. Torn is a good Mon here, but I feel like it's a. Uh, I feel like it's bait. Chiyu's good. So is Sentret. Sentret's not bad here either. I'm just going to bring the Chiyu. Being able to close out a game is probably just the best idea. Being able to close things out is probably just for the best. So what we're going to do here is we have the potential to side Sucker Punch our Goldango, activate our weakness policy, and one-shot some stuff. We also have the ability of Frisk, which means we get to play a little bit of like open team sheet versus them. So I think we have shots... Um, that's probably not a sash on the Toxico. It's probably vested. So that's something we need to keep tabs on. But let's see. I want to go. I wonder if they're going to do like Titar Garchomp. I think Titar Garchomp's still really, really good. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to bring Tornadus is because I didn't want them to swap in Melodic on like an Icy One or a Bleak One Storm and get that competitive proc. So Titar Garchomp, what are our items here? Because if the vest is on the Toxico, what's on the Titar? Is it Orb? It is AP. So that means it's not that on the Bright Powder Garchomp. Cool. So. I mean, I'm just going to play. I'm just going to do this, bro. I mean, dude, you would go down. I'm doing, I'm clicking the button. You actually need to click this to KO a bulky Garchomp. Um, I'm clicking the buttons, dude. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. No, no Bright Powder misses. No Sand Veil misses. That T-Tar can Trastalize all at once. I don't care. I do not care about you, T-Tar. I care not for your well-being. Look at this Furret, though, dude. Furret's about to pop off. This Garchomp ain't never going to see this one coming. I'm hitting them with the in-game strats. How many of you guys have taught your fur at Ice Beam or Ice Punch in the storyline and thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever and that, like, you had perfect coverage on your weak, weak mon? That's what we're doing here. I wonder if they're going to be able to read this. Dude, there's no way they read this. They're probably like, all right, I'm going to Terrastalize my T-Tar, go Flying Terra, click the Earthquake, you know, Rock Slide. You know, that's the standard thing you would want to do here. But that ain't how this one's gonna go down. Here we go. Terrastalizing. The fact that Furt's Terrastalizing before them means they're before their Garchomp. I mean, it's probably not Garchomp Terrastalizing. If anything, it's probably Tyranitar Terrastalizing. And if we lose our Furt here to like a Rock Slide, double Rock Slide, that's fine. Um, that's okay. So Goldango's gonna drop the big protect. I wonder if we outspeed their Garchomp. We are full speed, timid nature. Swords dance in my face, huh? You think you think that you can just do these things? Bright Powder Garchomp? You cannot. You cannot. You're done, bro. You're done. One shot city. Yo, the degenerate tech of Ice Beam, Ice Terra Furret, and the Crunch Block. Oh, dude. What a perfect turn, yo. What a perfect turn. Yeah, buddy, dude. That is sick. <laughs> It's going to get even better when I side Sucker Punch. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm totally clicking the buttons. I wonder what items on that thing. Bro, oh my gosh, no way. You can fake out if you want. I can't protect, but like, bro. <laughs> Let's pop off. What are they clicking, dude? Are they going to click like Drain Punch and let me actually get this off? Is this going to be the highlight reel? Is this going to be one of the absolute games of all time? Because Goldango's going to outspeed the T-Tar. 
And Goldengo might outspeed the Toxicroak as well. I think Toxicroak has an 85 base speed. It might be a little bit lower or higher. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but oh my gosh, Sucker Punch side. Oh, dude, it's going to work, yo. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Let's pop off. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? Encore. No, 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 bro. You can't encore me. We got that good as gold. Busted. And then, is it Sash on the Sandstorm team? I'm like, actually sad. Like, of course it could be. That's the most common item in this guy, but like, and then the Rage quit. But you wouldn't normally see Sash on the Sandstorm team. We take those. That guy got absolutely sent to the blender, bro. <laughs> For it, dumpstered the Garchomp, and then enabled the Goldingo. Like, what we try and do here is make bad mons good. It does not get much better than this. Yeah, we take those wins all the way to the bank. There's a Macargo. I wonder if it's like Aqua Jet Macargo, Policy Proc, all that shenanigans we've been using earlier. That's a pretty cool team. Um, I do think, though, that Chi Yu is pretty usable here. I think Goldango is very usable. We're going to lead with the Furret. And we want to be able to redirect that Aqua Jet if possible. And we're going to lead Goldango here. We outspeed most of those mons, so we can probably get away with this. And then as for what we want to bring in the back, I think Flutter's great because like they have a lot of priority. And then I don't know if I want Chi Yu actually. I might just want another redirection mod. So we're running the Centret. So we have like big Goldango carry, big Flutter main carry, and then we have two redirectors that are really, really bulky and or having a sash. So I think we got some pretty good shots here. I love that we're using Frisk. Frisk is such an underrated ability. And I, it's one of the abilities that I highly recommend that newer players play with because not everyone, you know, you can't share open team sheets on the ranked ladder or the casual ladder, any ladder on in game. So it lets you actually see what your opponent's doing so you can try and like understand. Like if, are we going to see a Citrus Fairy? That would be a big tell that it's a Belladrum Azumarill. We're going to know right now. So Leftovers Azumarill and no item Glamora. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, 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 you're gone. You're done. <laughs> Not Terra. No, there we go. Just the regular, regular old make it rain so we can stop the super effective. You're done. You're done. Go home. Go home. Go home, opponent. This is what, see? And because we were able to see their item and know that they're probably not the world's strongest, most best active player, we can just go all in and get those wins. You ain't got no sash. You ain't got nothing out here. Making it rain, make it pain. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. Yep. See, if we, if we didn't have Frisk, we'd have to give them a little bit more respect and probably we even to protect and see if that Glamora was like showing like maybe Sash play or something. But yeah, we're in a pretty good spot here and we still are at a plus one. So we're still actually functioning as like a Scarf, or sorry, a Specs Goldango level of strength. So the next turn we can go Steel Terra and actually be even stronger and we can go for like a Sucker Punch or an Ice Beam with our fur at first. So we're gonna Ice Beam that Dragonite. And then we're going to go Steel Terra and win the game. Right? Yeah. Busted. And it's just that easy with this team, bro. It's just that easy with this team. You don't want to miss a uh, Super Fang either. Super Fang's really good against, like, you know, bulky mons like Cress or Amoongus and stuff like that. But you don't really need to. But you can just actually tell, like, Furret's, like, such a good mon on this team, dude. It's so nice. I don't know if we Oko the first Indipity, but like, I don't really care. Note that whatever they're Trastalizing, it looks like they are Trastalizing first Indipity. Um, we're fast. Oh, it's Dragonite. So it's a slow Dragonite. And it's going to go in normal Terra. So we're going to break multi-scale with Furret. Even if they were to go for like an Extreme Speed, we have Sash. So we're fine. So Extreme Speed, yep. They're trying to break us. You've got that big Sash. Big Sash. They didn't even, they didn't even break it, yo. Ice Beam! Breaking up to multi-scale and... Making it rain, making it pain. Plus one, Steel Terra. Big damage. Oh my gosh, dude, that's just two turns, bro. Two turns. Two turns. For making every single game, two turns. That's what it feels like. It does feel like that. So, uh, for it, for it's pretty good, actually. I don't, I, I mean, don't leave home without it. All right, let's see. What do we want to do here? Shempow, Dragonite, Ogre Pond, Flutter, Heatran. Heatran's a big jerk. Hmm. I wonder how much damage, like, I wonder if actually, like, hmm, this is a hard one. I like Flutter here. I like Flutter and Furret as a lead versus this sort of team. 
we get to get the frisk out we get to see what they're doing if they want to lead like dragonite we can go for like some sort of posi positional play i also think like this is not bad depending on how passive they want to lead i'm gonna go like this these two are really good we're gonna bring the furret and then like i think you need to bring chi yu to like dark pulse out that heatran mid game i also think like adding the damage shred like i think it might make it so a spec shadow ball plus like the damage shred could take out a heatran that's like more of like an aggressive life orb set so we're going to try this one. This person has, like, a tier 1 team. Like, they have, like, Shenpao, Dragonite. You have all the cool stuff. Like, uh, Rillaboom. Got a bunch of grassy glides here. Let's see it. So Shenpao, Dragonite, super, super standard. Show me that Frisk. It's such a big deal here. You got Sash. You got Ban. You got Life Orb. What are we working with over here? Frisk, Life Orb. Okay. And Choice Band. Okay. So they're going to have to go into the Dango slot. For the most part. There, there's nothing. I wonder if they're going to Sucker Punch or Throat Chop. I mean, even if they do Throat Chop. Like, I, I think realistically the right play is just follow me and damage. Yeah, just get the damage off. If you want to swap in Heatran, you can. Um, that'd kind of suck. But then we just swap in Chiyu, block the Fire Attack, reap him with Dark Pulse. You go for like something else like they're just staying in bro oh my gosh yeah so we're gonna be able to block sucker punch with this throat uh sorry throat chop plus like e-speed would just get fur off the board be able to send out something else and we're in a pretty good spot here if they want to protect the shimpow and go after the um for it that's a good play it's a good play but they might lose their dragonite if they're not multi-scale if this is an inner focus dragonite they might just lose it here don't lose your dragonite here buddy i'm trying to help you out Oh my gosh, I'm faster than you. Don't don't lose your Dragonite. You better be multi-scale. You better. Survey says. Okay, so that was multi-scale. Alright, so then are they, what slot are they going into then? Stop my cantrip. Into the fur. Oh, because I follow me. They hit the gold dango slot. Alright, so then now we would go down to something like an E-speed. But then like, does Gold Dango go down to anything on their side? I don't think so. I'm actually just going to swap in Chiyu. Sorry, swap in Flutter there and just go for a second Make It Rain. Because I think they're just going to E-speed that slot and then have, like, Goldango be 1v1'd by their Shimpao. I don't know, though. Let's see if they have enough damage to break the Goldango. I don't think that they do. They're straight champions if they want to go, like, E-speed into my Goldango plus, like, a, suck, or a Sacred Sword in my Dango. Just, like, that little bit of extra damage. I wonder, the Dragonite still probably does, like, 15% with E-speed. Let's see, though. Pivot out Shimpao. Not bad. Is this going to be Heatran? It is Heatran. Cool. So the plan here is going to be KO the Dragonite, right? You can E-speed in the slot. It's not going to get you anything. Um, and then, yep, Flutter here. I wonder if Chi Yu enabling our Flutter main spec Shadow Ball could KO a Heatran from, like, this. I want to see, also, if the Heatran doesn't have leftovers, that means it's probably Life Orb, like we were talking about. And if it is that Life Orb Heatran we were talking about, it's probably a lot more aggressive. It looks like leftovers, so it's more defensive. It might still be worth a shot to do that play, though. I have Furret. Furret doesn't really help me that much. I'm thinking about degleaming, dude. I'm thinking about it. What if I stayed in? What if I like swapped in here? I like this play. Swap in here, block Sucker Punch, and go for a weak ass make it rain. KO the Shen Pao, and then have like a a good board to pin the Heatran. That's actually a pretty cool play, I think. Because I think they're overcommitting on the Flutter slot. I think they're thinking the Goldango is like a, a weak, wet noodle. But it's not when you have like the Chi Yu. We should be able to still KO the... There's a Sucker Punch. I'm so good at this game, dude. Holy moly, dude. You ever seen anyone as good as me? Oh my gosh, we should still be able to KO the Shimpao. Right? Minus two. Yeah. And then we lose the Dango right? But then we have a board of Chi Yu plus Flutter or Chi Yu plus Furret with like redirection we'll be able to take out that Heatran whenever we feel like it. That's great. Goodbye, Dango, unless you policy proc me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is fine. What is their last mod? That was, that was some pretty good play. That was a pretty good play. 
He baited that. See, uh, it's all because of Frisk. It's actually Fur that's putting that all together. That would be a terrible play against Sash Yenpao. But because we know their item, we got that advantage. Yeah, I think you gotta go Flutter here. This could They could still definitely win, but like, it's gonna be... Oh, Flutter's definitely a mom that can win. Um, good news is we want to lock in Shadow Ball. I want to see if they're Booster Flutter. They're not. I think the right play would be something as simple as like, I think that means they're probably specs. Do I have to do this? Do I have to do this? I'm gonna do it. I feel like if you ignore the heat, if you if I double into the flutter or respect the flutter and they just protect flutter and earth power with their heat I would lose. Versus like if their heat protects or does something weird, that's probably like, Flutter might be able to pick up a K on something. Fairy Tear, okay. Cool. Shadow Ball should still be a two-shot. And I also like that we're not, like, doubling into the Flutter here. Nice. I'd love to get this thing off the board. <laughs> really would love that. Yes! So even if we lose them on here, we still have, like, a board state that could get us something. But let's see. Are you going after the Chi Yu? Which I hope you are. Or my Flutter. Dazzle. Ooh, they're clicking both. So we don't actually know who... Uh, we don't know if that's a speed tie here. I wonder if this is a KO. I wonder if it's like Dark Pulse. Plus... Shadow Ball is a KO. I wonder. I don't actually know. I kind of want to swap out, you know, and... I want to swap out and then rebring out my Chi Yu and have a lock in Heat Wave. I think I can get away with Dark Pulse Shadow Ball. I think that's probably a KO. Let's just try it. We need a flinch. That was canceled. I'll, I'll take those wins. I'll take those wins. You can scoop it up all the day. All day. Yo, we take those wins all the way to the bank, oh, yo. Oh, man. This dude has Probo Pass and uh, Torterra. Okay. I really don't want to get styled on by this. Whatever this is, I abort mission. What is this? Let's see. Uh, Tornadus is actually not bad here. I think Tornadus is actually really usable. Um, really use I think tor Tornadus is like really, really good here. And then I'm trying to think of like what we need to pair Tornadus with because we can Icy with most of those Mons to make them slower than the Dango. So like this is a good play. Yeah, this is the right play. And then we're gonna bring Chi and Flutter. <laughs> dude, we're just going all in, dude. We just woke up and chose the violence this game. Um, we can't go for Prankster Taunts versus Indy D, but we can probably just KO the Indy D. And you don't want to go with like a policy proc play here because they can, again, just follow me it away. And if they wanted to go fake out with something like the Palma as a lead, this is our Covert Cloak and Ghost Pokemon lead, so we're fine there. I wonder if they're trying to like set Trick Room and win with Probo Pass. I don't know what this person's trying to do, but we're going to do everything in our power to not get styled on by this. We have the Power Gem as well in this Goldango, so we can hit things like the Volcrona and the Gyarados super, super well. And we're not choice locked. It feels so nice to use a not choice locked Goldango. I wonder if everyone's just looking at like me whenever I'm the opponent. They're like, oh, that's plus one. That's Specs Dango. That's all he uses is Specs Dango. And it's like, it's not Specs. It's not Specs. Not today. We got that weakness policy all the way. So let's see if they want to lock in. I wonder if like Gyarados Torterra could be a good lead for them. It's not because we have uh, Icy Wind, but like, we'll see. Don't need to click those Bleak Winds if we don't have to. The only thing I think I would click Bleak Wind on probably is like Indy D. I might click it versus Indy D just because we don't want them to Trick Room. Their icon is Probo Pass. That's scary. They have a Probo Pass icon and are using Probo Pass, and they sent out the Probo Pass. That thing doesn't get Trick Room, right? If it does, I'm about to be using, I'm about to be a Probo Pass believer. We don't need to Icy Win here, but we do need to not lose to Probo Pass. Sorry, we don't need to Bleak Win. I'm about to just taunt you, bro. I'm going to taunt it, dude. I don't trust Probo Pass as far as I can throw it. This is fine. We don't need to overextend. Is this mental or Probo Pass? Gosh, is he going to Zap Cannon me? I hope that he does. I hope this is like a wide lens Zap Cannon Probo Pass. Uh, we should have actually realistically put Goldango on our left-hand side. Oh, actually, it wouldn't have mattered. Because they could have Magnet Pull, but we're Ghost-type. So you actually can't even track Goldango with Magnet Pull. But we know that they're probably sturdy. So let's see. Do they're thinking about it. 
Protect Gyarados? Not bad, not bad. I don't know what this guy's gonna try to do here with Probo Pass. Iron Defense, maybe? Like, that ain't it. I respect you, bro. It's because you put Probo Pass in your profile picture. I respect you. Let's see it. Explosion, maybe? That'd be funny. Earth Power. Thank you for the policy, Brock. Appreciate you. Long time, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> I think I could probably Icy Wind make it rain here now. Yeah, Icy Wind would break sturdy, make the Gyarados slow, and then like Goldango is just like, TY my guy, Steel Terra. Goodbye. I think we kill the Gyarados here. Oh, they're thinking about it. And I, I think Bleak One would be like a better play because it would do more damage to Gyarados, but like it's a lower accuracy move. I don't want to miss and I want to miss on the Probo Pass, you know, and not break the Sturdy. So we're trying to Icy One. Also, Icy One, like we said, lowers the speed on the Gyarados to make sure that they uh, we outspeed them with Goldango. Just to make sure. Icy One hits on both. Nice. Decent little chip. Let's see if you want to try Gyarados. Plus two Mega Rain might not. If they're like a bulky Gyarados, like they're not AV because they should protect on turn one. So they, they, they probably still live, but like you just barely though. <laughs> just barely hanging on by a thread. Goodbye, Probo Pass. I respected you. Don't let anyone tell you that I didn't. Waterfall, we should still eat it. Yeah, we hold these. Go My Goldango set's like cracked. It's so good. My Goldango set's like the best spread ever made. <sighs> All right, let's see. What are you bringing out? We're still at plus one. So we're still basically functioning as like a spec sting. That's what I really like about this weakness policy set. And we have protect. That's the cool part. Like I can weave in the protect. Is this Palmot? So Palmot does outspeed some stuff. Fake out would probably take out my Dango. I think the right play is actually just taunt the Palmot, bro. Taunt the Palmot, drop the protect. Like what do you do? If you want to double shock my Tornadus, that's fine. We just bring out Flutter. Um, if you would like to fake out my Dango, like I'm taunting you so you can't Revival Blessing. Yeah. So no fake out, huh? So we could have just Icy Winded Broke Sash and won the game. But let's see if they're clicking the Revival Blessing. Close combat. We don't know. They could be Scarped, I guess. So I guess this turn I would probably think about maybe Tailwinding. I'm thinking about it, right? Because they could be Scarfed. We don't actually know if they're Scarfed. So yeah, I'll Tailwind. I'll get the Tailwind up. It's better better wait than never, right? Massive Make It Rain. That just has Scarf vibes all over it for me. I'm just getting Scarf vibes from the Palmot. So let's go. And this shouldn't KO, but like... Yeah, that's so much damage, dude. And then we're going to lose the Dango to the close combat, but then we bring out like a Flutter, and then we just win the game. So let's see. CC, baby. Yep. Like I said, it was getting big specs. Sorry, big scarf vibes. Let's see. Who's coming out next? Like I guess we're probably going to bring out Flutter here. Flutter plus, like, Tornado support is just, like, probably going to be enough to get it. We don't even need Chiyu to miss. We can save Chiyu in the back. We can even swap out Tornado for Chiyu to give ourselves a damage boost if we need it, but I think we're fine. And Volk. Cool. So I'm just gonna bleak win. Bleak win these, bro. I'm just gonna go for the Shadow Ball. It's fine. We have Power Gem if we need it on Flutter, but like I think we're fine. Volk is a pesky guy. They brought like all Mons that like resist Goldango, and I'm like, how about make it rain? They brought they brought all Mons that like resist Dango, and we're just like, no. Make it rain, make it pain. That's what I'm saying. That's funny. All right, cool. Dazzling is going to take out the Palmot. No shenanigans here. You can totally, like, try and quiver. Like, I think the Bleak Wind single target just takes you out from Torn. I think Torn's still so good in this meta, but like, I don't feel like I'm forced to use as much as I used to be. So Torn gets the big KOs, and that's it. You know, we didn't use Furret or Sentra in the last game, but I think this team's actually really cool, and it just shows, like, how good... Things like Goldango. I think the past couple videos I've been using a lot of Goldango Chiyu. That core is like really, really good. So think about using some Goldango, some Chiyu, or maybe some Frisk, Furret, or Sentra in your own games. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. Let me know what sort of content you guys actually want to see on the channel while I'm going to be gone in Iceland. Like I can prepare it 
so it can go up while I'm gone. So let me know if you want to see like team building guides or you know just battles or like tier lists or other creative Pokemon content just let me know in the comments and also if you guys are down there we're trying to get every video to 50 likes so if you guys like this video and you want to see more like it think about leaving a like on the video and other than that thank you guys so much for watching peace out I'll see you guys next time